Have you ever wondered if your Google Data Studio reports are being used or not? If you did, then this video is for you. In this video, I will show you how you can use Google Analytics to track the usage of your Google Data Studio reports. But before we dive into this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button on this channel and hit the bell icon. So if you're ready, let's dive in. In Google Data Studio, pick the report that you want to track. So I'm going to use this report that I've specifically created to track the usage on. And this is the report I will use to show the usage as well. So click on it. Once in the report, click on edit. And then right click on the report to go to report settings. You can also go to file and report settings. Either way, you will come into interface that looks like this. This is where you can enter the Google Analytics tracking ID that you want to use to track the usage of this report. That's the Google Analytics property that will start to collect the data on the usage of this report. So let me go to Google Analytics. I'm in the admin panel of the Google Analytics property that I want to use for tracking the usage of my Google Data Studio report. This is the property that I have created. It's in the admin panel, so you'll have to go to the admin section. Click on property settings, and then this is the tracking ID that you'll need. Highlight and copy it, and then go back to your Google Data Studio report and paste the tracking ID here. Once you're done, click on X, and that's all you need. Now, Google Analytics will start to collect the usage data on this report. So if anybody sees this report, or even when you are looking at this report or working in edit mode, all that usage will be reflected in Google Analytics. Now I'm going to head over to Google Analytics report and look at the usage data. So here in Google Analytics report, in real time, you can see there is one active user that's looking at this report. That URL corresponds to the report that I was looking at. To view the other data that's available, click on behavior and go to site content, all pages. This is where you can see all the reports that have been viewed. As you'll notice, there is also edit mode being tracked as shown by edit at the very end of the URL. In order to see the name of the page, name of the report that was viewed. So if your report has multiple pages, this comes in handy where you can click on page title to see exactly which pages were viewed. Main page, page two, hour of the day report. So if I go back to my report here, the names of those various pages are available here. So click on this, main page of the report, page two, hour of the day report. So that report will show you exactly which page of the report was viewed how many times. Now let's go back to Google Analytics. If you want to look at the overall stats on the usage of your Google Data Studio reports, then you can click on Audience, Overview, and this is where you'll see number of users, new users, sessions, page views, etc. So that's it. This is how you capture the usage of your Google Data Studio reports and see the data in Google Analytics. If you like this video, then make sure to give it a thumbs up. I will see you in the next video.